In the past eight months, we've shown you nearly all the new GMW body coupes, the mid-size front-drive cars that will serve well into the 90s as GM's staple high-volume models. If you haven't seen them on Motor Week, then you've seen them on the street. The Buick Regal, Pontiac Grand Prix, and Olds Cutlass Supreme. These cars are getting pretty popular, especially Buick's Regal. But strangely enough, Buick is still hanging on to its older front drive Century, a car that would seem to compete directly with the new Regal. Why keep it around? To find out, we ordered one for a quick look. Up close, the Century Custom Coupe seems like less competition for the Regal than one might think. Even though it's been heavily restyled for 89, it's still a much more conservative car than the slickly styled Regal. But the Century does appeal to the older, more traditional Buick buyer, the driver who might shy away from the new W bodies. However, conservative doesn't have to mean obsolete. The Century may look older, but its power plant is one of the newest engines in the GM fleet. The 3.3-liter V6 produces 160 horsepower and a healthy 185 pound-feet of torque, 25 more horsepower than the Regal's 3.1-liter motor. This allows the Century to sprint from 0 to 60 in a very unconservative 8.4 seconds, about a second faster than the Regal. The quarter mile ends in 16.5 seconds at 84 miles per hour. The Century's underpinnings are also new. Buick's Dynaride suspension gives the car handling on a par with the standard Regal. It's crisp and predictable, though only the Buick traditionalist will like the dead, overboosted power steering. Braking has a rather traditional feel as well. The front disc rear drum combination delivered good stability and a reasonable average stopping distance of 138 feet. But severe fade and nose dive give quick stops a rather unsettling feel. While much of the century has been updated, Buick designers continue their very conservative approach to the interior. No CRT screens for this Buick. Controls are sparse and most dash hardware looks a bit outdated. The minimalist gauges make even a Cadillac dash look busy. Fortunately, there's plenty of comfort available from the well-padded bench seat. Room and comfort are also plentiful in the back. And like all good Buicks, there's a generous trunk. Liftover, however, is a bit hot. But prospective buyers aren't likely to quibble over details once they see the price. The Century Custom Coupe starts at only $12,199. Our well-equipped test car came to $15,210. That's a price that should gladden the heart of anyone who's frugal with a dollar. So despite more power, the Century really doesn't compete with the Regal so much as it supplements it. Retaining the Century Custom Coupe in the lineup allows Buick to reach out to younger customers without alienating the many faithful ones that have stood by the division for years.